Hi Array and welcome to lesson two on musicals. Today you are going to be continuing your work on thinking about what a leitmotif is, but also looking at the role of film composers. For today's lesson you are going to need your booklet with you for lesson two, but also a pen and it might be that you want to put those distractions away. So phones away. So in today's lesson, what we're going to be looking at is I would like you to develop an understanding of the role of a composer and about a number of film composers. Develop a leitmotif for the character that you created last lesson and to listen to a piece of film music. So do now, what I'd like you to do is pause the video in a second and think about what style of music would you put to this image and why? Think about the tempo, the dynamics, the instrumentation, the texture, etc. that you are going to talk about. Pause the video now and make sure to write as, in as much detail as you can. OK, just a reminder that actually a leitmotif is a frequently recurring short melodic or harmonic idea, which is associated with a character, event, concept, idea, object or situation. Give yourself a pat on the back if you can remember what a leitmotif is and make sure to pause the video now if you just need to have a quick scan through of that again. Moving on to our main point of today's lesson, looking at film composers. Now, a film composer is somebody who writes the music for a film. Now, you remember from last lesson that there's a lot of different types of music that can be in a film. There is the music that goes on in the background that you're very unaware of and then there's the music that really enhances what's going on on screen. I'd like you to research um, five film composers and can you find any interesting facts about any of them? I've put four on here just to give you a bit of a head start of Danny Elfman, John Williams, Pharrell Williams and Hans Zimmer. A quick interesting fact that at my old school Hans Zimmer's Pirates of the Caribbean was used as their changeover music so that haunts me to the rest of this day. Pause the video now and do your research on that. Moving on to activity 2.2. For today's lesson, I would also like you to be listening to a piece of music from a film. Today, I'm suggesting to you that you listen to uh, the theme from Schindler's List, which is written and composed by John Williams, a brilliant, fantastic composer who I'm sure you will have heard a lot more of his music than you realise. I'd like you to make sure that you're commenting and using all the key terminology that you would normally do. Make sure to start using those Italian terms and putting them into full sentences as well. So think about the tempos, the speed of the music, the texture, the dynamics. Just a reminder that those dynamics are the Italian terms. So forte is loud, piano is quiet, crescendo means gradually getting louder, mezzo forte obviously means medium loud and diminuendo means gradually getting quieter. I'd also like you to talk to me about the instrumentation and the pitch. Pause the video now and make sure that you go and listen to the theme from Schindler's List. There will be a link in the description box. Activity 2.3, this is what I would like you to do as the main part of your lesson today. I would like you to compose a leitmotif for your character. Think about the work that you have looked at from those other composers earlier on in the lesson. And I'd like you to think, can you use anything to provide a leitmotif for your character? Now, in front of me, all I have is the desk and I could create a rhythmic leitmotif for my character. You could, however, though, if you have access to an instrument, use that or you could use MusiScore or BandLab online. Please make sure if you are using the online software, that you use it appropriately. End the video now and use the rest of the lesson time to con continue and finish with activity 2.3 and 2.4.